good time, a dynamic time, lots of uh, um, self-evaluation after this film. I want to be entertained, but I also have some things to think about and some feelings and maybe some actions that come after it. I love the complexity of the character. I love the idea that you, you think you know this guy and you think you know enough about him to know everything you need to know about someone like that. And it turns out that's actually not the case. That's always fun to play. That's always a challenge uh, for an actor. And I love the script. I love the fact that the characters are fleshed out. I love the fact that the story comes together at the end. I love the fact that th there's a misdirection without without it being, um, I always say, without tricking the audience. And that was never the intention. I, I, and I, I, I don't think people like that. I don't like that. I do love a good aha moment in the middle of a movie. I love that. And, and the, the main thing though, Honestly, um, and it's, I'm fortunate enough to say this, but the main thing for me when I take on a project is just the people that, are, that I'm working with, really. That's all, it, that's all it's about for me, really. I mean, all that other stuff is really, really great, and I need all of that, but it means nothing if you don't have the right people. And in this project, we had, to the man, to the woman, we had the right people. It was really great, really great experience. Well, I think navigating that balance was the challenge that I think kind of all of us were excited about because individually those things have all kind of been done but the idea of bringing them all together all at once is like we're going to walk on a tightrope we're going to juggle plates and spit fire all at once and then you're going to somersault and do it again so that dynamic i think was challenging and the way that we balanced it i think it was just through collaboration experimentation constant communication that was it we would just discuss it and put it on his feet and then sometimes you know all right we want to lean this way and feel a little bit more of the humor in this moment lean this way feel a little bit more of the danger but i think the core of it was always the truth of the moment and leaving room for each individual audience member to decide if they want to laugh at that moment or be scared of it it was it was a nightmare directing your wife <laughs> <laughs> No, it was uh, it was incredible because I had actually written a character with her in mind. Like each one of these characters is inspired by a real person from my life. So I had wrote the character with her in mind. I, I haven't said this to anyone, but something interesting that happened in that process, it put a tremendous amount of pressure on her to not disappoint. And my wife is an extremely talented actress and accomplished in her own right, but she had a lot of pressure. And it was fun to get to work through that and to let her just trust and be all the greatness that I had already anticipated and the reason why I wrote the character for her. So watching her go through that and funnel it through the character and trust, I feel like it really made us, us closer, you know, going through that journey together. A lot of the comedic moments in that, I mean, she was really she, hilarious. And, and I, I gotta be honest, I didn't see that when I was reading, I didn't, some of the, she had me cracking up. I was sitting in that chair taped to it. Couldn't feel my arms or my legs and she had me laughing. She's it's a funny, a funny actress, funny woman. We started to develop a um, sort of a, we had a thing where we would go, people would start to, I guess they would see a look on my face. I don't know what it was, but a certain amount of takes, a certain amount of minutes, they would come over and untape me and I could like shake out my arms. But it was, it was like being in that, that situation where you wake up and you're sleeping on your arms and you feel like if you roll over, you're gonna break one of your arms off or something. And then, you, and then you're always you're always surprised by how heavy the arm is, you know? It was like that uh, all day. Whenever he turned blue, it was like, oh, Justin needs a break. He's blue now. He's blue guy, again. Guy's turning blue again, the whole circulation <laughs> issue. Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll do that for sure. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's uh, Look, I mean, it's a good for the environment too, you know, you have the carpool and everything. So it's it's wonderful. Justin's doing major stuff right now with his show. I'll let him tell about this show. I'm so I, excited. I've got I've got the Never Game coming to CBS that I'm EPing with Ken Olin and starring in. We developed this this uh, we got the rights to a book called Never Game, best selling book, New York Times, uh, Jeffrey Deaver. So we were optioning that and playing the lead character and EPing the show. And Mo, you're pretty busy. You're pretty busy in New York right now. Yeah, so I'm uh, producing and directing East New York on CBS right now and have a few other things in development. It might be a, a buddy picture coming or something. Might be a buddy, a, a buddy kind comedy of thing. About something Action comedy, yeah. Just floating ideas to keep the chemistry going. I said I want to work. I want to. I want to work with Mo again, but I want him in front of the camera with me. So we're gonna try to find a, a buddy comedy or something to do something fun. Hey, you know what's interesting is Ken Olin and I are are EPing the the Never Game together. When we swiped a bunch of people from from This Is Us and we're all sort of doing the show together, I keep in touch with all those guys. They're great. You know what I would do? What I would love to do? A prime time show, half hour single camera comedy about the making of soap operas the behind the scenes. Because people don't realize how absolutely outrageous and funny that shit is, that stuff is. Sorry, 
It's it's hilarious. Some of those characters, they've been on those shows for so long, they think they start to become them and they're that ridiculous. And I just think there's something there. That's an idea. That's, like you get it. a lot of uh, exclusives, Rebecca. That's a big idea. Our buddy thing, we haven't told anyone else. You're getting, this is all the, you're getting the good stuff. Go see it. Go see yeah, it. Go fun. see it. It's okay. incredible. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. I'm excited for all the people that like to argue about stuff on the internet to have something great to argue about. <laughs>